Do you ever get tired of where you're living? Do you want to break free from the bustling city life? Don't we all sometimes? But can you picture yourself living far out in nature and getting along with only the basic living necessities? Who doesn't want to get away from the hustle and bustle of city life? Reconnecting with nature is indeed a calming experience. And there are tour agencies in Iran that have set up camps such as this one for that purpose. Taking a couple of days out of our busy schedule and spending time in nature's loving arms isn't such a bad thing after all. This is what you will expect to see if you decide to travel to Iran and pay a visit to the province of Charmahol Bakhtiyari in the spring or the summer. You'll see many tents spread all over this province that add a touch of color to the landscape. Waking up and immediately stepping onto a canvas that has been painted green might tempt you to set out on a journey to find the nomads in this region. These nomads live in the old traditions of the nomads the world over. The Charmahol Bakhtiyari province houses the second largest population of nomads in Iran. A large number of the nomads who live in this province belong to the Bakhtiyari tribe, but their living and grazing grounds aren't just limited to Charmahol Bakhtiyari. You can also find the Bakhtiyari tribe in neighboring provinces, depending on the season you visit them. The nomadic lifestyle is slowly fading away since the younger generations are more attracted to the modernity in cities and large towns. ما اشایر بختیاری یه زمانی اول کوچ رومون خیلی خوبید. بعد الان دیگه یه خورده کم رنگ بوده. کوچ اشایر. الانم ما مردا کار در بیرون انجام دن خانم هم خانداری و قالی بافی و چوقا بافی و میمان نوازی و حضور درازه مزی کار انجام دن ما هر سال که ایاییم تقریبا اول برچ دو ایاییم ایشو چار محال همیشو جایگامونه بعد کشاورزی داریم دامداری داریم مشغول بون تا اول میر اول میر دیریم برای خوزستان If you're a nomad, your day starts really early in the morning. Women are considered to be the main pillars holding their family together and have many responsibilities. We have a lot of work in the village. We have a lot of work in the village. We have a lot of work in خانداری میکنیم میمون نوازی میکنیم همسرام و هم کار کشاورزی دامداری از اینا کنن هم کارشون خیلی زیاده Mashkzani is one of the things that women need to do on a daily basis, and it's a rather difficult thing to do. I'm not actually doing anything, I'm just following through. I think she's putting in all the effort. So, hope it turns out okay. After pouring milk in a bag made of goat skin that we call mashk, it's suspended on a tripod. At this point, two women begin to shake the mashk back and forth repeatedly until butter is separated from the milk and floats on top. Usually women sing traditional songs while they're working, making the process an enjoyable one.
The nomadic lifestyle may seem calming and ideal to some of us and to others an impossible way to live. But just like everything else in life, being a nomad has its advantages and disadvantages. This is one of the advantages. Can I have some? Thank you. Let's see. This is actually really good. خیلی ممنون مرسی. دست شما در نکنه خسته نباشید. مشکلات زندگیمون خیلی سخته به ما ولی خوبی های هم داره آب هوایی هم داره گوست گوستن میخوریم روغن محلی میخوریم کش درست میکنیم میخوریم دیگه آب هواس خوبه اگر سختی میکشیم خوشی هم داریم آه ای گله 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 آه ای گله گله Far from the pressures and difficulties of living and working in big cities, the nomads are calmer, happier and enjoy keeping their old traditions alive. To them, there's no other way of life. آه ای گله 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 این شعر بختیاری در مورد یه قالی بزرگه که دوماد به عروس میده بیشتر توی عروسی ها میخونن بعد این یه رسومه که داخل همین ایل بختیاری کلان هستش باشی با ها چار ست و من نکم نبیشتر ناینان ناینان Looking at nomads, you feel as if you're looking at an attractive mosaic of vibrant colors. Living as a nomad, you're deeply influenced by the land and Mother Nature. The Bakhtiari tribe show this influence by the many colorful and beautiful clothes they wear. Mind you, the type of clothes you see are different depending on which tribe the nomads belong to. Men usually wear clothes that have distinct colors. A hat without a rim, a coat with black and white stripes that they call choga, baggy trousers and a belt. Women also wear traditional clothes, decorating them with colorful shawls together with puffy skirts. They wear scarves called lachak that are sometimes decorated with coins and other golden objects. Among the many things that piqued my interest was the Bakhtiari nomad's simple way of life that I could see. There's no trace of the never-ending urban thirst here. As a nomad, you have no use for extravagance. It's just like when you're packing for a trip. You can't take your bed or the television with you. You need to travel light for your own sake or you'll pay for it later. And so you only allow the things you know you're definitely going to use to take up space in your travel bag. What little furniture they have in their tents is made by the delicate hands of the women of the tribe. These tents are quite typical and are known as black tents, and they're spacious. The black tents, or siyah chadors in Farsi, are waterproof and also serve to protect the family from harsh winters. And in the summer, the sides of the tents are raised to let in the breeze and provide a comfortable resting place to put your feet up. These siyah chadors that we have are from the bottom, from the bottom. We do what we do with the bottom. بعد میگیش که نیمسون با دست میگیش که نیمسون بعد میگر نیمسون و تاب سوم میدیم بعد میبافیم سوم این قلیام هم از پشم میشن پشم ما میشانم میبافیم میگر نیم هم قلی درست میکنیم بعضیامو نه همه ما همه ما هم نه تریل درست میکنیم بعضیامو درست میکنیم Another thing you're most likely to enjoy is the nomads cooking. 
They put their heart and soul into the food they make. They may taste different, but from different types of baked bread to fish and lamb kebabs, they're all really good. I'm sure you'll be able to find something that will please your palate. Life is like a canvas. You are the creative artist holding the brush. What you like your viewers to feel when they look at your artwork is up to you. This is Golna Fanudi for Iran. Ahe,